Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. This is Edgewater and this is a map which has been very highly requested. In fact we're going to be starting another new map fairly soon as well. I'll keep it a secret for the time being. I do know what it's going to be though. And uh, yeah this is obviously the big one. This is the one with the big fields. The other one is not a small map but yeah the fields are much much smaller. And um, yeah one thing I noticed immediately is wow <laughs> that's a lot of little streams running between each field. I guess it's all the field drainage because it's such a, a flat area. Um, so yes, we are starting off with everything that the mapper has given us. I haven't actually changed anything, although we do start off with half a million pounds because we're going to need quite a bit of money in this series and we don't want to just sit around struggling. So let's have a look first of all at what we actually have. What we what do we start off with? Uh, we'll open up this door, sorry, open up this door I thought we could go, I think we probably can go through there, but we probably have to press one of these buttons first of all. Um, so yeah, we've got a Mack truck, nice big trailer for carting grain. We've got a new Holland Combine Harvester, what is it, a CH770, so that's quite a big one. Uh, can we go through here? Yeah, we can. So there is our pickup truck, and that was the button I was looking for. There probably is one on the other side, possibly. Did I completely miss it? No, you have to do it from the inside for security, I guess. There's the header for the combine. Uh, we will close the, the barn up in a minute, <laughs> of course. Uh, the tiller, nice big tiller to start off with, so that's gonna be very beneficial. I don't know actually which drill we have. Okay, down it goes. We will be using the pickup truck. I think the button actually is on the, uh, is it on the handle or do you have to go? Okay, you go to the door, where the door used to be when it's closed. And we'll close this door, close this door. There we go. Brilliant. So that's nice. And it looks like we also do have some conveyor belts as well. We'll walk over here past these grain silos. Do a lap of the yard. That is our field over there. And we'll come across our tractors, which are in this shed just here, I believe. Yep, yeah, here we go. So we've got a John Deere 4755 with dual rear wheels, which is going to be very handy. A huge Rostel Mash 2375. That's probably going to be our main cultivation tractor for the time being. But of course, we're not sticking with these forever. I'm going to probably run a few votes so we can vote which machine to get next. And we've got a front loader just there as well. A sprayer, nice big sprayer, and also a drill. Yeah, so we do have many, many things. That's just lovely. But is that everything? I think that might be everything. Let's just tab through them all again. Yes, so that is all of our machinery. Not bad. I don't know why um, we have a red quickie loader then, because that must be for... Well, that doesn't even have a front loader bracket, actually. And that doesn't have a front loader. So that's... Um, that's interesting. Maybe I've missed a mod off, although I don't know if I have. Well, maybe I have. Maybe I have. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We can change it if necessary. So, what is the situation with the land? As you can see, that is what we own, and that is the entire map. It's a huge map. But, yeah, that is decent. That is a decent amount of land, and we do have three. Oh, sorry, four. I thought it said three on the um, mod hub page. Maybe another one has been added since, or maybe I just completely misread it. But we do have flax, peas, lentils, and green feed oats. Lovely. So nice to have new crop types. And it looks like we actually are growing flax currently in our own field. And it is ready to harvest. So we can immediately start with something new. Which is, I think, why a lot of people were recommending this map to me. Because I did say, which map do you want to see? Many people said, go for Edgewater because it's got new crop types. So there is flax. I guess it's similar to, uh, well, maybe something like linseed. I just looked it up. Flax is linseed. Okay. Well, that explains it then. No wonder I had linseed on my mind. Just looking at the uh, actual description here, it does say flax, also known as common flax or linseed, is a flowering plant. So that's nice. Yes, it is cultivated as food and fiber crops in regions of the world with temperate climates. We do have the money, as I said, because we want to really progress nicely. So we can probably buy another plot fairly soon but the thing is we want to make sure we can afford different tractors because yeah sometimes 
like if we were to go into large tractors here, say we wanted to buy the 9RX for example, the price starts at 428 and that's before we add options. So um, yes, as you can see, we can quite easily hit the limit of the money we have. Then we have absolutely nothing. We don't want to be functioning with no money at all. So yeah, I did close this up for nothing. Let's open that door again. We need to get the combine warmed up. Out we go. And yeah, I don't suppose we need to have any kind of header trailer because it's so open, the header can just quite literally be dropped on the ground. Which in a way I prefer because I, I do find it tricky to um, get the headers in and out of gates sometimes. But we won't have that issue on this map. I suppose when you consider the size of the fields, this is a small combine, but it is, to me at least, a big combine. It feels big. We're gonna have to follow. Actually, I suppose it's all it is all split, isn't it? They're actually individual fields. Yeah, they are totally separated by these water systems and these water courses. So we can do that one, and then we could do... Actually, that is all connected, yes. Yeah, so we could do this one here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going to find it interesting to see how I get on with this type of field. Oh, I do have the extended crops mod installed, so we can probably swath this if we wanted to. Um, yeah, we could do if we wanted to. Wow, is it actually giving us a darker texture as well? Oh, nice. I'm going to chop though, because we're going to have the um, chop straw mod installed, so it will actually put an application of fertilizer on the field instead. We'll see how much we can do, and then we are going to have to get the lorry, the truck, and yeah, we could store, we could store the uh, linseed, flax, but it probably is worth just selling it, because then we can get a bigger combine. I think that is going to be the main target, get a bigger combine probably the biggest and then from there get more plots of land because uh, it, it goes without saying that we're going to need some pretty serious machinery to work these fields otherwise it's going to take too long oh. actually I'm quite surprised to see a fence there but it's just typical if you put a fence next to a field I will hit it guaranteed so keep that in mind <laughs> mappers anyone who is creating a, a map if you want your fence to be destroyed, then uh, yeah, put it right next to the field and I'll hit it for you. Anyway, let's get around the headland and we'll see how much we can do before we fall. Yeah, so as it turns out, you can actually produce flax straw anyway. Uh, it looks like without the mod, because it's a sellable product. You can actually take it to the spinnery, as you can see on this production, just here. There we go. So yeah, the spinnery accepts the flax straw. But I don't know why. <laughs> I'll have to look into it. 
Okay, after Googling it, it says it can be used for insulation and replaces for fiberglass or cotton fiber. So would it be used on its own or would you put it in with cotton? I don't know. and I'm very tempted to find out. No, it's its own thing. There we go. I did just build it just to see. So in that case, what am I doing? <laughs> why, why don't I pick up the flax straw? Uh, I'm guessing we can bale it and not just have it loose. And um, yeah, we can actually start to produce fabric out of it. So there we go. I've removed it again. Put it on a worker. We'll get the lorry. I will keep calling it a lorry just out of habit. I know I probably should be calling it a truck in this country. This is Canada. And yeah, we'll attach that trailer. There we go. So the combine is almost full. Yeah, it's nice to drive this truck. Did I not, um... Yes, mistake. Yeah, because we are going to do this. We're gonna, we're gonna get the flax straw, and we are gonna make fabric. So we should be dropping straw now, hopefully. Yep. Fantastic, so that explains the texture difference. You see, it's all new to me, this. I have not experienced this map before which is the exact reason why I'm doing it. Uh, anyway, we should be able to unload coming back down, providing the combine gets to the end and can turn around successfully. We don't have a baler. I don't think we have a baler. It would be great to have a Heston baler, so I think we'll probably get one of those. And they're not going to be cheap either. They're probably £100,000, if I was to have a guess. And it is really the combine. Like, if we were to target the biggest combine, yeah, again, yeah, we're going to be looking at including the header, more money than what we have. So if anybody says, oh, you've you've cheated, you've started off with way too much money, no, it's going to be out the window instantly. If we sell this combine, we should then be able to buy the big one, but then we'll have no money left. Let's take the cover off, and we will unload. Not too sure when the beacons have gone off. Oh well, <laughs> we know it needs to be unloaded. Right, floor it. We do have two separate compartments, but of course both are going to be filled with the same commodity, so it's fine. So, yeah, the seed can just be sold. And the straw, as it turns out, is what we're really looking for, for making fabric out of. Because fabric is worth quite a bit, and if we then get the tailor shop, well, I don't know if you'd want to wear clothes made from flax straw. That would probably be very itchy. Because by the look of it, it is more for insulation and stuff, but yeah, I don't really know much about it, but I'm pretty sure you wouldn't wear clothes made out of flax straw, or flax straw fabric. So there we go, that's that done, we can leave the worker to continue. We are going to have to get this tractor, I guess. Oh, slidey. And yeah, we'll get over to the store, wherever that may be. I've just realised I don't have the... Um, option on for engine start automatically. There we go. I want to do it manually. I think probably Matty Ferguson is going to be fine. But of course it is. It's a great brand, but yeah, it's £90,500. And where is the store? Because we haven't done a map tour yet. Wow. Where is the store? There. Right, so what I'll do is I'll tag the vehicle shop and somehow I'm going to have to try and find it. So we're going to have to go down here, down here, cut across there. Right, I'm, well, I'm sure I'll make it, but yeah, it's going to be um, a bit of an experience learning this. I'll just keep following the minimap like a sat-nav, that would be the best idea. And actually, yeah, this tractor isn't the fastest. Hopefully it's got the power, though. Yeah, hopefully it's got the power. At least we do have some fairly straight long roads. That makes it very easy. There's my combine zooming. Well, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. It's probably going to be a bit of time. Has that field just been lime spread? It has, hasn't it? Or spread with lime. Yeah, that's um, that's progressing nicely. We actually don't have 
a line requirement on, but at least I'm going to turn it off. It's certainly interesting, because I went the wrong way, but at least we got to see the train. I went the slow way. It was one of my famous long cuts. Here we are. We finally arrive. I could have made that faster. But there is our baler. I really do hope we do have the power here. We'll get that attached. I'm going to head back, and of course if I turn left out of here, I really shouldn't go wrong. I shouldn't. But who knows? That's nice. Look at that. Enjoy nature. Okay, floor it. 0 to 60 in... never. Okay, so we are back at the field and you're probably thinking, hmm, that's not the same baler you drove off from the store with. There is a reason for that. Yes, the big baler wasn't compatible, maybe there is an update for it, but it didn't work. So I have gone for this Crone Big Pack baler instead, and this one does work. So we're going to produce these bales, and I also understand that you can use the flax bales in the total mix ration, which we will be doing because we will definitely be getting animals at some stage. So we are making still the largest bales, 240 centimeters, which are, yeah, they're pretty big. It's probably, I don't know, 10 or 11,000 liters per bale. And that combine, amazingly, is still going. I'm not too sure how, but it is still going. It hasn't unloaded again since I unloaded it. So we'll get the lorry taken to it, and it's actually going to have to be done going back up the field because the auger is on the incorrect side now. So, yeah, we'll just transfer across to the lorry. Switch that off there. How full was it? Still only 71%. Amazing. I actually have no idea how expensive flax seed is. Um, whilst that just turns around, we can have a quick look on here. So flax is best priced in January. Most things are. It's currently August. Um, so it is the worst time because that is the time when you harvest. So we really would be better off putting this into storage, which we probably can do, actually, come to think of it. Right, it's only if we need the money desperately this will be the only harvest of this year because we only have one field and I don't think we're going to be able to afford to buy a second field this year so yeah we could probably say in January is this a stumpier trailer than the one I remember I'm sure there's a longer one but yeah obviously going by how much we're producing here it is big enough Okay, so we'll try and get all of this into the first compartment, which really shouldn't be too difficult. I've got a bit in the back. I think we can probably put the times times 10. We do want the days to progress. And that will certainly be enough to finish this part of the field, but of course we do own all of that as well. And I'm not too sure you might be able to get rid of these watercourses, possibly, can you? I don't know. It's something I'll have to look into. Because it did say in the description uh, you can expand your acres by watercoursing. <laughs> it's above my head. I don't know exactly what is meant by that exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research into that. Today was just all about starting off, really. And we do want to bail all this today. Oh, and of course there is that piece there as well, which I'll probably do because the worker will likely struggle. So, anyway, this tractor seems to be getting on okay with this. It's not too difficult for it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I think it's probably being pulled back a little bit. Yeah. Like, we should be doing 9, 10 miles per hour. Something like that. Um, but yeah, it's perfectly acceptable. And because the field is pretty much flat, um, it's not too difficult at all for it. But we will be looking at getting higher horsepower tractors in the not too distant future.
Yes, they're not absolutely flying off the shelf, but there are still a decent amount of bales. These are going to be very handy, because uh, it's not just like normal straw, which we would just be selling or putting down as bedding. This would be... This is going to go into the spinnery, which we are yet to buy. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be good. And I don't know if we should get the tailor shop. I want to do a lot of productions, but I don't want to keep repeating the same productions on every series. That's the only thing. And yeah, I think probably harvesting would have been better off going that way across the field instead of <laughs> that way. Because <laughs> now we've been left with this very, very slow and awkward corner, which is costing us quite a bit in worker fees. Oh well. Yes. It looks like a steak that has been on the grill. And there goes the final piece. Well, the final piece for this end of the field. We do still have the other end, of course. So anyway, let's just back up. Uh, yeah, I will do it myself. I'm not going to get the worker to to do the other end. It's just not necessary. I don't know why it's still driving. You can finish, worker. It's like it thinks it's got more to do. I think they're just trying to uh, spin it out to get more money from me. Oh, there we go. They've worked it out. Well done. <laughs> okay, so yes, we'll just finish off this final piece. And then we'll get across to the other side and we'll finish. We will bail it as well. So there we go, that's that. Start the combine's engine with 45% full again. And you can see how many bales we've got in the field. We would have more obviously if we had done the headland as straw. But yeah, it was probably easier actually this way. Because then we haven't got bales blocking the way for the worker when turning. It's quite a big triangle, actually. Yeah, it's actually a really big field. It would be so nice if we could get a bigger combine for the next episode. This is actually the smaller section of the field. Hard to believe. Yeah, we want to be maxing out. Oh no, there is rain in the forecast. We don't want that. Put the time back to times two. <laughs> we shouldn't really do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll get this done as well. It's not been a bad first episode, I don't think. A little hiccup here and there, but <laughs> that's to be expected in one of my videos. So, uh, yes, we'll get all this clear. We actually don't have a telehandler. We do need to get a telehandler. It's quite essential. And we're left with 53% in the baler. That's not too bad. Let's have a look and see how many bells we've produced. 13. Okay. And that's 13 big bells as well. So, again, not too bad. So, actually, yeah, that's something I need to check up on. Do we have... Do we actually have a silo? Cause I've seen silos, but do we have a pit <laughs> to, to put these... To put the grain into? Yeah, it's going to require those conveyor belts, isn't it? It is. Look at that engine. Nice. Very nice. So, yeah, let's just get this... Um, do we have to use both, or can we choose one or the other? You know what? I don't really know. This because this is all new to me. I don't usually do this, this sort of thing. I've opened the cover on this first one, so if I was to have a guess, I would say that we just put this over the top and unload into it. But 
These of course are belly dump trailers and I will probably just drive into it. Is that right or do we need the other one? I don't know. You are watching me learning as I go here. So yeah, let's um, let's see if I know what to do. For anybody who is from USA or anybody who is very familiar with these, uh, sorry, from Canada, very familiar with these situations, then um, yeah, you'll be laughing, no doubt. <laughs> I'm so rubbish. I'm so out of my depth here. Um, yeah, so. I don't know, that is kind of, well, it's, it's sort of under there, but it's not, it's not over there. Yeah, I think it's going to go without saying that we do need to have this one for this particular type. Because then we can swing it in and out, and that would work so much more effectively. Uh, we, we just won't put it into that first bay, we'll put it into probably the middle one. So if we go over here and open the cover, there we go. But yeah, I am very much out of my depth, as I said, but... This is how you learn. Practice, after all, makes perfect. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's very good. So, that was swing out. Oh, the red one will have to go. There will be a better way of doing this, I'm sure. I'm just making do. So if we sort of go there, pretty much, and then pull forward. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully that is going to be good. Oh, we should probably not tab. How, how do you, um... That is it, isn't it? Yeah, there, there we go. Right. still failing miserably. Or am I? Or am I? It's working! I'm not perfectly aligned up there, but it is going in. Well, that's nice. And now for the big one. Yes! Yes! Okay. So it looks like there's quite a tolerance on <laughs> where it can be. Um, yeah. So that's going into storage. Fantastic. No idea how you get it out again, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. This is a great place to leave you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.